my friend Chunk. This is Bear, this is Bear Punch. UC San Diego! And this is Triton. Triton. Coming at you three different ways. This is Hurricane Robotics from the University of Miami, and this is Category 5. First time a hurricane hits California. We're Bradley University, and this is Jailbreak. Hi, we are the Metal Twister from Polytechnic University of Puerto Rico, and here is Rhino. And those are the competitors, builders and bots from California to Puerto Rico, and we'll have all the action here on Metal the college tournament consists of a double elimination bracket. Double the competition, double the demolition, as every team has two chances to win or two chances to go home as scrap metal. Tonight we've got five great fights. Bradley University takes on the University of Miami. The winner of that match will take on the Polytechnic University of Puerto Rico. UC San Diego's Triton will face the winner of Cal Poly versus Missouri State. And that's our first fight of the evening. The Golden Boys of Cal Poly versus the Mechanical Masters of Missouri State. Earlier, both teams had to pass the rigorous BattleBot safety inspection and weigh-in. Welcome to the epicenter of the action. Ground zero for robotic mayhem, the BattleBots. Teams fight for three minutes or until one robot is destroyed, disabled, or knocked out. If both teams last the full three minutes, the decision goes to the judges. In the Battle Box Arena, we have a variety of hazards, weapons, and obstacles. The Pulverizers. Contestant controlled giant sledgehammers over 100 PSI of pounding force. The Screw. 400 RPM solid steel augers, ready to screw any bot, any time. The Hellraisers. Pneumatic launching pads that can levitate whatever they want, whenever they choose. And finally, the Kill Saw. The most feared of BattleBots weapons. Razor sharp dual carbide tip saw, the ultimate peacemaker, slicing bots into pieces. All right, weapons operator? Yeah. All right, it's pretty simple. We've got two buttons to press. Yep. Press this one, it does absolutely nothing. Okay. So this is the hammer right in front of you. Yep. This is the hammer in the opposite corner. Okay? You're my driver? Yes. When I ask you, are you ready? You're gonna press that button. That's gonna indicate yes. It's gonna lock in the tree. When it gets to green, it's fighting time. Any questions? Yes, sir. All right. In the blue square, weighing in at 119.5 pounds, Missouri State's Bear Punch, ready to slug it out against Cal Poly. In the red square, maxed out at 120 pounds, the challenger chomping at the bit, it's Chunk. And now the creators of BattleBox will give us the play-by-play -play action from the BattleBox floor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to Mare Island, California. I'm Trey Roski. And I'm Greg Munson, and we'll be your host for this evening's BattleBot fight. Red driver, are you ready? I'm ready. Red driver, are you ready? a bear punch. And that's going to give Missouri State some serious driving issues. And you can see that bent rear wheel of Missouri State. He's just a sitting duck. Bear Punch is either going to have to tap out or he's going to be counted out by the ref. That's right. Missouri State has 20 seconds to show controlled movement. Yeah, controlled movement, like falling. Never 
happened in an official Battle Bus competition ever. Chunk knocks Missouri State out of the arena. It's a knockout for sure, ladies and gentlemen. Missouri State off to the loser's bracket as Chunk wins it. Now remember, BattleBots is a double elimination contest. And that's one for the record books. We, we completely thought we'd just be able to get on their side and just completely knock them over and be okay. But as it turns out, that was not the case. Yeah, we, we went into it with the idea that like, if these guys can drive, we're in trouble because that weapon is going to just tear us to bits. Because 40 pounds swinging at that RPM, there's not much that's gonna stop it. Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Robot's name is Chunk, and we just kicked some butt today. It was just a blast to see all the really good engineering come together and just take control of a competition. And we now pronounce it dead. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for more BattleBots. For all the BattleBots exclusives, join us at BattleBots.com. Go behind the scenes with builders and their bots. For all the mechanical mayhem, go to BattleBots.com. Special thanks to Autodesk Inventor for sponsoring tonight's tournament. I found Autodesk Inventor is most valuable when it comes to making assemblies of multiple parts. I could take pre-manufactured parts and draw them, or pre-made drawings are already there, and I could take all those parts and put them into a single assembly, and take those pre-manufactured parts and put them together and know if I have enough space, if I have enough weight. I can use the weight analysis before I ever have to weigh a sheet of steel. My favorite tool in Inventor is the loft tool, because you get to mess around with the tools and make absolutely any kind of shape in the world. Welcome back to BattleBots, where we just saw Missouri State's Bear Punch get knocked out by Cal Poly's Team Chunk. Bear Punch is off to hibernate until the comeback round, while Chunk looks like the bot to beat as they face off against UCSD's Team Triton. UCSD Triton Robotics, and this is Triton, Triton. coming at you three different ways. No, our, our robot's invincible. <laughs> the student from San Diego gets expert advice from former BattleBots champion Donald Hudson. Let's peek in as Donald gives some last minute driving tips. To keep him never stopping and turning. This is the most dangerous thing that we can do. Now it's not, when they're, when they're trying, to pad, pad. trying to get around you, you could do this and get one of your moves. You see how you made that turn? You see how you feel that precision? You're going to drive it. You're going to get more motion. It's going to be Keep moving. Meanwhile, let's move on to the pit to see how Cal Poly plans to keep the pressure on. In the first battle, the, the only damage that we took was a couple of fan blades in here broke off, but other than that, we're good to go. We gotta repaint a little bit and uh, ready for the next battle. I think we can handle almost every single one out there, so we'll be good to go. Mm, team Chunk is hungry for the win. We're good. Let's do it. Go, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Our challengers enter the battle box. You see San Diego's Triton ready to take on our reigning champ, Chunk. And now we go to our battle box color guard commentators for the play-by-play -play action. Now this is an interesting matchup because both teams are mentored by former BattleBots champions Christian Carlberg for Cal Poly. He had a robot called Minion. And on the UC San Diego side, it was Donald Hudson. And he had Tazbot and my favorite, Dissector. This year, every robot has to have an active weapon. You can see that Cal Poly's chunk clearly has an active weapon. And Triton has that linear actuator lifter there in the back. They actually brought three different weapon attachments for their robot. Modular design is always a great strategy, but so far, it looks like their strategy in this match is to use the plow. Good strategy by San Diego. Both teams jockey. 
jockeying for position. This is now becoming a battle of who's the best driver. Just driving one of these battle bots is tough. Try fighting with it. Diego's strategy clearly to take Chunk to one of the arena hazards, either the screw or the pulverizer. But the other arena weapons like the kill saws and the hell razors will come in effect after this first round. Neither team seems to be dominating this match. He's missing it too. Seventeen seconds left in this match. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it being over. I got a funny feeling this match is going to the judges. That's right. If any match goes the full three minutes, the three judges at Arena Side will determine the winner. Maybe he's going to the screws. Yes, I think. Oh, and yes. Yeah. yeah, it did go to the screw. You see San Diego screws Cal Poly. Cal Poly now going to the loser's bracket. San Diego wins it. We will rebuild. We will rebuild. So Chunk's down for the count, but we'll be right back. Become part of our BattleBots community. Commiserate with the losers. Congratulate the champs. Log on and learn more at BattleBots.com. Back to Mare Island, UC San Diego teaches Cal Poly a lesson, and in a tremendous upset, puts the Mustangs out to pasture, giving Triton their stab at the title. They were looking so smooth. How did Chunk get so chunky? Something bad. Well, fit right here. Yeah. Fit right here. Fit back. You lost tension right here. It's an easy fix. Uh, the easy fix is to put more tension into the belt. Yep. Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll swap the motors. We'll be back in operation pretty soon. Really good drive. No, it's great drive. If, if I didn't get screwed. <laughs> San Diego. All right. Woo! You guys did it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that bumper really legal. Yeah. That bumper really saved us. That thing took the blow and stopped their spinner, and then there was just a push and match from there. What are you supposed to do? That's, that was our yeah. main plan, and yeah. it worked perfectly. That's how you do it. All right, we can yeah. do it. Yeah. All right, San Diego, they're in your advantage. Triton takes the top seat, and we move on to our next two challengers. The rookie bots from Bradley University take on last year's runner-up, the University of Miami. This is Hurricane Robotics from the University of Miami, and this is Category 5. First time a hurricane hits California. With so many breakdowns in the battle box, what's the nuts and bolts behind building a solid bot? Well, we decided on a full body spinner because it's really what we decided was the best way to store energy while protecting all our electronics at the same time. And, you know, it makes great sparks, very exciting matches. It's cool. Our shell is spinning at about 1,500 RPM this year. So. These are 18-volt uh, DeWalt drill motors and we have them over voltage to 24 volts just for a little extra something. A part of the reason we have four is because everything will fail in BattleBots, you know. If you have four and two fail, you could still drive. And the reason we have this belt drive here, we have two belts again for overkill, and also these belts will slip during a hit rather than stall our motors, so it doesn't drain our batteries as much. We have an aluminum frame with a titanium a plate here, and our shaft is also titanium. That girl knows her bots. But Bradley's bot jailbreak is trapped behind bars in safety inspection. These killer bots are built to destroy, but human life must be preserved. We're Bradley University, and this is jailbreak. I can't really physically get in there. Now. So you've been 
through everything. You don't have any sharp edges, except for maybe that one and that one. What you're gonna have to do before you finish, we'll go ahead and do your functional. You got a grinder with you? Yeah. You're gonna have to grind all these sharp edges off. Yeah, you got cuts already. <laughs> it's not a real robot unless it draws blood, yeah, exactly. baby. It's all a right. real robot. Right? All contestants must prove that their battle bots comply with the strictest of safety regulations. Okay, turn on your weapon power. Run for your life! Like Mom said, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Let's drive it back and forth and make sure it works good. Nice. Is this your first time driving? No, but this is uh, the first time we had full armor on it. Try kicking it, Brian. I'll call you back. Yeah. All right, can you move it now? Can you go the other way? Go on, give it a good kick in the block. You're scraping in the back. You see where you're pulling the paint off the floor? You get stuck again. Well, don't come right back here. Okay. What I want you to do is go in the center of the arena and slowly spin it in place. All right. Not the weapon, but the robot. Spin it around like this, go ahead. I don't want it to swarm all over. I want it to spin in place. Uh, nice okay. If we give it a good kick, I could do it. Yeah, I know, but we can't keep kicking it all the time. Looks like this bot may get the boot. Not looking good for Bradley. All right, what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna terminate this because you guys, this is not gonna work, okay? We still got plenty of time. Heck, you got another five, 10 minutes before we close. Ah, just kidding. Should we turn off here? No, of course, like fine tuning. While Bradley beats his bot, we'll be back with a bang. Stay tuned for more battle bots. The science of robotics is a delicate balance of precision and accuracy, where the hammer is the tool of choice. Favorite tool? Probably the most favorite tool of mine, probably the hammer. <laughs> Do I have a favorite tool? <laughs> oh, that's, that's an answer. <laughs> Multi-purpose, right? You can use it in anything. The hammer, just because it's fun to hit stuff. Uh, my favorite tool is the hammer. It's so powerful, you just can't go wrong with it. I use it as a hammer. <laughs> in an emergency, you can use it to punch holes. <laughs> the 20 pound hammer that we <laughs> well, There's nothing you can't solve with a hammer. I have a favorite tool. It is called the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> While jailbreak gets cleaned up, Brian inspects category five. Just drive it around, come forward and backward. Everything working good. All right, go into the middle of the box. Make sure you have control of your robot again. Okay, you're good. We build it in about two weeks out of uh, parts we scavenged from the machine shop and uh, the other shops at Bradley University. Uh, used to be an ultralight urban vehicles where most of our parts came from. And then I uh, got it here Tuesday. We've been working on it in the hotel parking lot since. Usually the same teams come back year after year, so you make friends and you help each other out. And really, I'd say there's really great sportsmanship. If you need a motor before a match, your opponent will lend you a motor. You know, everybody just wants to see the robots go in there and have a good match. So we're ready to go. We have no idea what our chances are. We know we've done just the best that we possibly could do. I don't think there's anything that we could have done that we regret not being able to do. We put in so many nights where we worked every hour that we could possibly work to, just to make this happen. After hammering, grinding, two boxes of band-aids, and three separate reinspections, jailbreak is finally on the scale. Good job, Bradley. But let's chill on the high fives because the battle is just heating up. Spinner versus drum, and it's out of the frying pan and into the fire. And after all that pounding, let's hope they don't get hammered. And now from the arena floor, we go to our battle box commentators for play-by-play -play action. And coming into the ring right now, last year's runner-up, category five from the University of Miami.
After all that pounding in safety and fresh out of prison, it's Bradley University's Jailbreak. Hey, and there's the Woz. That's Steve Wozniak, the inventor of Apple Computer. Ready for this? Yeah. We are not here to surrender. Uh, 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 u
and having the desire to prove that it can be rebuilt and survive is a great lesson about life because our best laid plans sometimes don't work out the way we hoped them to be. When you explain to people, BattleBots is fighting robots, you know, we make these great machines and we fight them. They're like, well, what application does that have? Why, why are you fighting robots? You know, they see it as a destructive thing, but I mean, this robot, five years in the making, you know, that's five years of constructive building, you know, something that you can't get anywhere else. You know, yeah, we have three minutes of destructive. Not so much about breaking something as it is about building your machine so it can withstand anything and not break. And if it does, going back and re-engineering it, rebuilding it, redesigning it to make sure that that won't happen again. But what will happen when once again they face their arch rivals from Puerto Rico? We got kind of history with, with them. <laughs> we got uh, year to year to year, year to year, we got good matches be between, um, we got good friends uh, back there in Miami. While the Miami team is at the lunch table, Team Rhino makes a clandestine visit to measure Category 5 in order to fit a secret weapon of their own. It's kind of sportsmanship to see, hey, you, are you okay? Would well, you need something? But you're always looking what's going on. Actually, this year they do a special fit for us. They changed their, their, their tooth for, for just for us. They lower their, their teeth when they show up. They say, hey, I got this for you. Uh, and I'll say, mm, I got your surprise for, for you, but we, we build stuff for spinners so to make like a defense on, on the spinner, multiple attachment on the back, and this go on the back, here comes a titanium plate going um, flush on the floor, so the spinner spin here, the titanium grab it, so if they got tapered, so that the, with the titanium plate, on the ground, uh, under the, the robot, they can push over, so we can dominate. This, that is the theory. And suppose that the blades come through the whole robot and don't get hit. Rhino, we actually went up against him last year. It was a full three minute match. Towards the last 30 seconds of the match, a screw from the bottom of our robot vibrated loose and actually lifted one side of our robot off of the floor. And that's how we lost. It proves that tenacity is worthwhile. It proves that studying and developing skills that then can be applied to in a totally different arena from school is worthwhile. And to experience that firsthand makes them see a value in learning that goes beyond the classroom. We were pretty confident. Just that, yeah. let's do a rumble and see what happens on the fight. So last year they got screwed, but this year Miami looks unstoppable. As they prepare to rumble, Rhino on red, Category 5 on blue, ready to unleash their secretly modified weapons of mass destruction. And now from the arena floor, we go to our battle box commentators for play-by-play -play action. And here it is, the rematch. Last year, these two teams went up against each other and Category 5 lost when she got hung up on a screw on the arena floor. And that's a crappy way to lose. that secret weapon of Team Rhinos. I've heard other ideas similar to that one, but I've never actually seen anyone implement them. Let's see if it works tonight. I think Rhino's stuck. He's unstuck now. Oh! oh huge hit. That He's was the now. coolest. Pieces of Rhino all over the floor. taps out so he can save what's left of the robot for the loser's bracket. What's left? Yeah, that's a good question. What's left? And Miami wins this one. A little smoke. And a lot of pieces. A whole lot of them. Stating the obvious, here is the judges. 
It's the University of Miami, Category 5 wins it, continues on to face Triton in tonight's final victory match. But we were nervous. We went into that fight really nervous. They had big drum. 20 seconds, though. That's all it took. Are you 2-0 now? 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Had any damage to repair? Absolutely I nothing. Doubt it. They're going to need a little duct tape, I think. A couple rolls. We should buy them some, actually. <laughs> we got a, lot, a, hole, a big hole on the titanium plate, so we did not expect that kind of power on the opponents. So we bring spare part from all, the whole world, so a couple of hour minutes we'll be ready for the next match. To go in there and actually have it be our shortest knockout was, you know, exhilarating. We were not expecting that and, you know, they made a lot of improvements. It was just, I would say, the most unpredictable match this robot's ever seen. And no one can predict the outcome of our final match of the night, but we can guarantee some catastrophic demolition as Triton returns for some lethal combat. Action-packed annihilation, metal-on-metal -metal massacre, pulverizing robotic decapitation. Right after these messages. Think you can build a better bot? Put down the remote, grab your mouse or whatever device you use, and log on to BattleBots.com for all the rules, regulations, dates, and times of our next killer competition. Join the Brotherhood of Bots. Just don't forget to bring your hammer. Welcome back for the final fight of the night. So far, we've seen Cal Poly's Chunk play quarters with Missouri State's Bear Punch. Heads or tails, Chunk wins. Only to be stabbed by the Fork of Triton. Category 5 has punished the competition, slamming Jailbreak back behind bars and putting Rhino back in its cage. With such a dominating spin, can UCSD survive the scourge of Category 5? Or will Miami fall to the Clash of the Triton? So it's the Battle of the Beach Towns, Miami versus San Diego in a fight to the finish. It all comes down to this, Triton and Category 5. Tonight's two top contenders, only one can emerge a champion. There's no telling which way the tide will turn when these two tidal waves collide. The design of the robot started back in fall, going through concept after concept after concept of pros and cons of each design that we came up with and trying to kind of do a thought process of what would work. How would you build something that's gonna both beat another robot but also survive another robot? And eventually we decided there was no best. We couldn't build the best robot. So we decided to build them all. So we went with a modular design that has both an aggressive weapon configuration as well as a defensive weapon and, and shield configuration. So we can handle anything that we uh, came up with. Ah! You're going down. Have you had like any any, any real strong. damage at all besides like superficial damage or anything? We won our first match in 40 seconds and our second in 20 seconds, so we haven't been in there very long yet. <laughs> Well, prepare for okay, a fight. We, we are going to give it right. to you. Yeah. I will take it. You're going to have to earn this victory. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now the creators of BattleBox will give us the play-by-play -play action from the BattleBox floor. Ladies and gentlemen, our final fight of the night, Category 5, coming off of two decisive victories, takes on UCSD's Triton. And all arena weapons are active. That includes the pulverizers and screw, and now the kill saws and the hellraisers. It's East meets West, the Battle of the Beach Towns, Miami versus San Diego in a fight to the finish. It all comes down to this. Triton and Category 5, tonight's top two contenders. Only one can emerge a champion. Then once again, the box is locked, the lights are on. It's robot fighting time.
Nice driving by San Diego, trying to get the shovel into Category 5 to slow her speed down. I hate the web. It's true, where's the active weapon on Triton? I'd like to see that active weapon get to the action. But the wedge sure does make good sparks. Category 5 takes a bounce off the wall and stops spinning. I don't think she's trying to save her battery. Whoa! Oh. Killsaws, and this one's going to the judges. First judge's decision all night. Triton went into that uh, match with a very clear mechanical strategy and a very clear strategy to to beat uh, Cat5, and they did actually disable Cat5's weapon, and they maintained control throughout the match, so I give the win to Triton. Plow was a very well-engineered design with the curve to it. Triton executed a very good driving strategy, pushing Cat5 around. Cat5 lost control of its weapon. I give it to Triton. Triton showed that uh you can beat a spinner, and yes, I go for Triton also. So Triton proves it takes more than spin to win. My name got stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah. Now you've gone up against spinners, you've gone up against a lot of different bots here. You guys ready for everything to come? Yeah, let's do it. We got that uh, got that big bumper there. We're ready. Let's do it. This is the best we've ever done. Start out two matches without any problems have been amazing. With this match, from the beginning something sounded wrong. Our robot didn't spin up quite as it should have. If it had, we probably would have taken something out. I mean, their plow was about to come off. I, I mean, I had a feeling that they had the match just because they were a little more aggressive. But we still have another shot. It's not over yet. Toss up, toss up. Next week on BattleBots, we've got five new colleges, new competitors, new weapons, all determined to drown Triton in a sea of robot carnage. Here's a sneak peek. This is Dracula. UCLA, fight, fight, fight! You're going down, man! <laughs> you are. 
Rico at Maya West. Be aware of the curse of the Pharaoh. Cincinnati College of Applied Science, and this is our battle bot, Catatou. We're in Long Beach State, and this is Shark Tooth. Team Blue Devil from UW Stout, and this is our robot, Falcon. UW Stout! A little ticked off from the last couple judges' decisions, so I had to really take out some anger there. UC San Diego! This is Triton. Triton. Coming at you three different ways. What we're doing is we're afraid of uh, Falcon's drummer getting underneath our wedge, because they got a nice... Uh, Nice little skirts that can get under it. So our plan of attack is to mount this guy, weld him on right like this, so it's perfectly flush with the ground as flush as we can get. That way we'll hopefully get underneath theirs before they can get underneath ours, because theirs are little short things. If ours are really long, we'll get out underneath them before they can take take us. I don't know, we're just gonna keep on chugging along. We got a lot of drums in our path right now, so just hope that we can take them out one by one. When you're watching the competition, you're actually seeing bits of a mind, a working mind that figured out ways to build strong machinery, to build machinery that can overcome obstacles, you know, even defeat others. And I love it. You know, this whole world is about battle bots. 